Okay, so we got another one. I can knock out one more for today. Um, I'm going to try to make this one not too controversial. We got Rick Ross. Hold on. We got Rick Ross up in the building right now. We're about to do a brief intro. It's like a peanut butter ball. So Rick Ross, legendary Miami rapper. This is his first album, Port of Miami. This set, this brings memories. What is this? It's like a ball. How the fuck did I get in my smoothie? So, it's Port of Miami. This is the the first album he's done, and the last album he's done as of now is Port of Miami too. Your boy got ten albums. Rick Ross is very consistent. He always sounds the same. But I think at this point we like a repetitive shit, you know. Um, let's go over the features for this album. He came. Oh, by the way, he came from a. Uh, he came from, from, from Trick Daddy and Trina with the Slide Records. Plies was part of that shit, too. Plies was part of Slip and Slide Records. It was Florida rappers. And for some reason, Florida rappers are really fucking good. Pitbull is a Florida rapper. Niggas from Florida is really good. Pitbull, let's see, Pitbull. Rick Ross, Trick Daddy, Trina, Flies. Um, but yeah, let's go over the features for this. We got Jeezy and Jay Z on one track. See, this is the time when um, Jay Z. Jay Z was taking over Dev Jam. So, the first two talents he signed, or the first two talents he co signed, was Jay Z and Rick Ross. Clearly. You can tell Jay Z and Rick Ross are associated with Jay Z. I can tell that instantly. We got Akon. The Master Remix, the remix to Hustling. We got Akon, Mario Winans. That's my favorite song. Get away. Um, let's see, Life Jennings. I wonder what the fuck happened to Life Jennings. I definitely gotta do a little intro on that. Uh, Lloyd, Triple C, and DJ Khaled. Rick Ross. For, 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 see, this, I'm not trying to point you guys to anything or, or nothing. I don't think a lot of people know this, but, uh, Rick Ross is the one that brought DJ Khaled to the forefront. And, um, there was a song, Lil Wayne, remember DJ Khaled selling CDs off the trunk of his car. Mmm. And, um, around this time, because Lil Wayne's from New Orleans. Around this time, Lil Wayne was um, was living in Miami or visiting Miami. So by about two years after this album, he started living in Miami. And that's where you get all that 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 the the DJ Khaled shit. D Rick Ross brought DJ Khaled in. He made DJ Khaled popping. Damn. Really quick. And then we got Lil Wayne and Frisco. We got his second album, <laughs> Trilla. What grade was I in? I was in uh I was in uh I was in tenth grade, I think. Yeah, I was in tenth grade. 
when this album came out. And uh, the song he's known for is The Boss with T Pain. Man, this shit brings it's just man, it's just this music. It's like a time capsule. It brings so much memory. R. Kelly, R. Kelly's done for. Like <clears throat> he was such a legendary singer, you know what I mean? And he he fucked it up by trying to allegedly fucking on young girls. Rest in peace, R. Kelly. Rest in peace. Um, what else we got? Uh, DJ Khaled speaks on this. DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled came in the forefront by the time this album came out. We got Trey songs, Nelly. Nelly's gone. I never thought I'd be saying some shit like that. You know what I mean? Because I, me, me, I'm not like the rest of these people. Where I, I, I figure that everything started to become popular. Gaming started to become popular. Uh, hip hop started to become more popular. I was doing that gaming shit and that hip hop, and I was listening to hip hop when it wasn't really that popular. Like, it really wasn't that popular. So it, it, it makes me feel old because now hip hop, this is gonna be 2020 when this video comes out. Hip hop. Hip hop is 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 super is, is is way more popular. Everybody plays video games now. You're not a loser for playing video games now. Back in my days, niggas wasn't listening to hip hop like that. Well, niggas was, but everybody else wasn't, and people weren't playing video games like that. There was no fucking DLCs. There was no internet. So you had to go to a friend's house. This this is how this is how I used to do shit. You have to go to a friend's house, or you have to know people to play two players. Now I can just sit in my house and play online with some random people across the country. It's crazy to me. It's foreign to me. It, it, it shows shows how fast shit goes. It makes me feel old. You know. But back to the to the to the features. Of uh, Nelly, Nelly gone. Never thought that would happen. I thought Nelly would be here forever. You know, Jay Z, Jay Z still here. Wayne, Jeezy, Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy was a shit back in the early 2000s. Man, baby, cause I'm a thug. Shot kids know about that shit. <laughs> God damn. So we got his third album, uh, Deeper Than Rap. Oh, I think this is something I always wanted to cover too. So, before this album came out, Rick Ross got into beef with 50 Cent. And let me tell you, it's an incredibly bad idea to get into a beef with a cancer. Incredibly bad. <laughs> you never want to beef with a cancer. You might as well give up. Rick Ross, you might as well give up. Me as a cancer, knowing knowing that he got to a beef with a cancer. Even me as a cancer getting to a beef with another cancer, I would prefer not to do that. Let me tell you why. Um, cancers remember everything. Everything. They remember everything you did. Every little detail. We're very meticulous. And we, we, we go into these memories. We go into this phase where we go into these memories. And we remember, oh yeah, you did do this. And we like being nice. But then we go into these memories. So if a cancer has too many bad memories of you, it's over. It's done. It's 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 done. Because I could be sitting here chilling. Right? And I remember the wrong you did sometime in the past. And it just comes up randomly. And it makes me switch. It makes me it just makes me treat you a certain way. 
the best thing to do for a cancer, when you're in a beef with a cancer, you did something wrong with the cancer, apologize for it. Just apologize for it. Because that memory keeps coming back and back and back. You do too much bad shit to a cancer, it's it's done. You're never going to be able to figure out what the fuck happened. You, you know what I mean? You're never going to be able to figure out why is this motherfucker so mad at me? Just random. And it's crazy because so many people on a high horse, they feel like they don't have to apologize. See, with the other signs, it's okay. Because they can't remember, they can't remember that shit. But cancers remember everything. Cancers remember everything. Um, I think Greg Ross should apologize. I, you know, and even if 50 Cent started the beef, which I doubt, because cancers don't start shit. Cancers really don't start shit. Because we're more in tune. We're more in tune to things. Um, I know that video game, Death Stranding. They were saying if you're, basically at the beginning, they ask you if you're a cancer, or they ask you your birthday. And you put your birthday in, and then they say if you're a cancer, you're more, you're basically, you basically, you're more in tune, you're more able to find, you're more able to fill the enemies that are in the game if you're a cancer. And it was another sign too, I can't remember. It was, it was, it was, it was some other signs too, I can't remember, but. If you're a cancer, you can feel the energy. You can feel the energy of the enemy, so it, it's going to make the game easier for you. Now, granted, again, there there is an alternative. If you're in a beef with a cancer, right? You don't have to apologize verbally. You you could just kind of give up with your en energy. Your energy has to be a I don't give up energy. And once you kind of just give up, the cancer's like okay, whatever. And you know, just feed them, take care of them, take care of your cancer friend. Because being a cancer is like it's like it's like being a female. So a female cancer. It's like the most sensitive sign ever. The most sensitive sign ever. A female cancer is the most sensitive sign. Men cancers can feel everything. So, I, you know, and allegedly Rick Ross stated that 50 Cent bumped into him. Again, being a cancer... He probably did bump it to him, but he didn't mean no malice behind it. Rick Ross is just trying to start this shit. Rick Ross is just trying to start start some shit with a cancer for no fucking reason. 50 Cent knows it. That's why he went at him. Because if 50 Cent went at Rick Ross first as a cancer, it wouldn't have been that bad. 50 Cent wouldn't have... 50 Cent would have trolled him maybe a couple times and that's it. That's how I know that Rick Ross started this whole beef. For no fucking reason. I still like Rick Ross. Um, but you need to end that beef with 50 Cent. So let's get let's get into <laughs> this because uh I, what was a song what was a song where he dissed him? Mafia music, I think. Rick Ross made the, the worst decision of his life because again, he's a cancer. He's, 50 Cent's never gonna fucking stop. He's never gonna stop. He's never gonna stop. Your Rick Ross is gonna want to stop before 50 Cent's gonna want to stop. He's a cancer. He's never gonna want to stop. So you got Mafia Music, where Rick Ross made the worst decision of his life. And then we got um. Why is it going down? Oh. Uh, Lil Wayne, Kanye West, T.I., John Legend, Magnificent, Dope. This song, this is a good album, too. Nas, The Dream, Robin Thicke, Foxy Brown, 
Gunplay, Neo, Trina. I think I can listen to this album back to uh, back to back. I can listen to this whole album and just chill. I forgot about this album. It's crazy. But Rick Ross is very stupid for going against a character. It's it's not it's not a bright idea. It's like one of those things where it's like a man going against a woman, not truly understanding the woman. You going against a cancer, not truly understanding what the cancer is capable of. You're better off apologizing. You're better off making a friend of the cancer and soothing them. And I know most people got egos and they don't want to apologize to the cancers, but cancers really care. We really fucking care. We, you, 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 like, it's just like, I don't want, it's like, I hate caring. I don't want to care. I don't want to care. And I have to put this in my head, but as a cancer, it's in my nature to really fucking care and to really be invested into something. It's just in my nature. I, you know what I mean? I, there's nothing I can do about it. So, um. We got his next album. I think this is his third album. Can't see it. Fourth album, Teflon Don. He got into this beef with uh, 50 Cent. 50 Cent did some terrible things, as a cancer does. Um. Whew. We got John Legend, Jay Z, CeeLo, Daddy Kiss, T.I., Erica Badu, which this, she joked about Rick Ross, the dissed him two years later. She basically said, uh, I'll beat the shit out of Rick Ross. I think she said, Fat ass, I'll beat the shit out of Rick Ross's fat ass, or some shit like that. She was joking around. Um, Puffy, Trey Songs, Gucci Man. See, unlike T.I. and Jeezy, Rick Ross can work with Gucci Man. Blowing money fast, Styles P. Styles P put one of his... Styles P, Styles P always has a hard verse. This shit was hard, because he, he, he held his own. And again, just like I gotta mention from the last video, he put Styles P on the song, which is a better rapper than him, on purpose... Because you want the person that you put at the end of the song to do better than you. <laughs> and you you don't go off and say, he killed you on your own song. Because you're either emotional or dumb as fuck. And you don't realize how a song is supposed to be fucking structured. This shit makes me mad. That shit makes me so mad, bro. That shit makes me so fucking mad. <laughs> Dumbass people. And then Drake. Oh, Drake killed you on the song. He's supposed to kill me on the song at the end. I put him on the end of the song on purpose so he could make the song better and, and leave you with a lasting impression on the song so you come back to the artist. Duh. Like, the fuck, man? I think I'm mad at everybody that really tried to count Big Sean out. With that Kendrick Lamar shit. Because that was such bullshit. I, I, I feel like low-key Kendrick Lamar is... I, I can't say Kendrick Lamar is foul for that shit. He was supposed to do... He's supposed to do that. I, I, I low-key think... I low-key blame Kendrick. And I low-key blame the, the general public. For that shit. Uh, so we got Raphael Sadiq and Rayquan. So now we got God Forgives, I Don't. At this point, um, Rick Ross brought in Wale and Meek Mill. Wale was already doing music before, ah, before he signed with Rick Ross. Meek Mill had no, he had a bunch of mixtapes, but he had no studio albums. So let's look at the features for this. Dr. Dre, which thank God he produced the beat. Jay Z, Neo, Andre 3000, Petra Moses. 
I got a 9-11 version with two chains on it. Meek Mill. Omar, oh, he tried to sign Omarion too. <laughs> Omarion gets his label is corny. But you, oh, but you know what? You know the crazy thing? Omarion was on his girl. Her name was April Jones. And, um, he was on her for a while. What I'm what 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 I'm getting from the situation because Omarion seems like a really cool dude, and again, a lot of these girls sometimes they get with really cool dudes, and they damage it. And we we I think we need to raise more awareness on this because we're not raising we're not raising awareness on how women do things. When women do things, oh, we just keep it on the low. When women make mistakes. We amplify it. We, we keep you keep amplifying. It. But have you ever have you guys ever noticed that? Think about it. You look at a girl. <laughs> Most of you men look at women. You look at a girl. Can you tell me anything she's done wrong? Do you know any girls that's, that have done anything wrong? That have told you they've done anything wrong? Now you look at her close friends. And you have a conversation with her close friends. They're going to tell you some shit. You're going to be like, she never told me that. She She's not going to tell you that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> so, Omarion got into this situation. And then I told myself I wasn't going to talk about women. I'm gonna keep it short. But Omarion, he was with um, April Jones. Um, again, there's these claims. Oh, he's cheating. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's cheating. Oh, he's this. When women either choose losers or guys that can get a million girls, they never choose the guy that wants them that can't get any girls. It's either the the the, the guy that could get two that guy that has too many girls. She she jumps into the situation knowing that nigga, this is Omarion. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna have girls. So she sits there. She got a kid by the nigga. Right? She sits there. She she what what she does, she sit there. She'd be like, damn, what can I get from this nigga? This nigga got too many girls. What can I get from this nigga? Pop out a kid. Guarantee you she's getting child support. I guarantee you this motherfucker is getting child support. She's getting child support. I'm I'm not sure if she is, but I'm probably, she probably she's probably getting child support. She pops out a baby from this nigga. He gets a lot of bitches. She pops out the baby. Boom, gets his child support. Boom, dumps him. Oh, he was cheating on me. This is that. This is that. <laughs> and. and no cap, no cap. Till you, 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 you guys, you guys hear this all the fucking time. Oh, he's cheating on me. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's cheating on me. He's cheating on me. With the Ti and Tiny situation. Oh, he's cheating on me. He's cheating on me with all these girls and this and this and that. Leave. Leave. No, you don't want to leave. So what are you complaining about? Uh, you know, he he foul, he this, he that, he foul, he cheating on me. Leave. Ah, uh, you know, it's alright. It's not alright. You're complaining. It's an issue. It's a problem. You're complaining. There's an issue. There's a problem. Fix it. Nah, nah, it's good. He think he, he think he this, he think he that. Cardi being offset. Ah, uh, he cheating on me. Ah, uh, he cheating on me. Leave. Oh, no, they got back together. I don't think Offset cheating anymore. As far as I know. But, um, anyway, for this Homarion situation. So, she ends up, the April Jones chick, 
ends up getting with uh, one of the one of Omarion's friends from B2K. Forgot what the fuck his name was. So um, she ended up getting with his friend. That's another thing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into that. But um. She got with his friend. Omarion did a DJ Vlad interview. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm happy for them. <laughs> Boom. Classic play. Classic play, right? So, yeah, I'm happy for them. And he was like, he, he was like, he basically said, uh, I just I just want them to change the narrative. I just wish they would change the narrative so that they're happy together. I don't think she really wants that. She wants, it seems like she wants Omarion to react. Because what happened was she probably wanted, she's like, yeah, I'm going to let him do his day for a little bit. Pop out a kid just in case he don't, just in case he, just in case he acts up or he doesn't change. And then I'm going to start making these demands. And, and that's where the demands come in. They start making these demands and shit. Oh, you need to stop fucking all these girls and this and this and that. Then you start fucking the girls, right? Then she's like, okay, now I got him here. I got him. I got him to do this. I got him to do that. Now, I'm bored. I'm bored with him now. Uh, let me let me see what else I can do. Let me see what else I can I can I can do. Uh, big pics, go on Instagram, flirting with dudes at the job, for flirting with dudes at the job. Having one night stands. That's what they. That's what they fucking do. That's what they fucking do. Then they go back to their nigga. They 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 go back to their nigga. <sighs> Next thing you know, you get into arguments. You in a relationship. You married to the person. You in a relationship. Whatever. Whatever. You arguing with the person. She arguing all of a sudden randomly for no reason. Why do you think that is? There's either a nigga she was fucking with before. Didn't work out. She found him. Or she found some new nigga that she wants. You know. But Omarion handled the situation. Very well. He's like man I wish they would be happy. She, He's like man I wish they would be happy together. But that's not the narrative that she's trying to paint. She's trying to make you react. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to make you mad. She's trying to piss you off. Let's go back to the feature, man. We got Usher. We got Drake. We got Wale. Drake and Wale on one song. We got Stolly. We got Nas, John Legend, and Nicki. I added the that song with Nicki. It wasn't on there. Every other song was on there. That's the the song with Nicki is pretty dope. The song he did with Nicki is pretty dope. So next we got Mastermind. We got Fresh Montana, Puffy. Jay Z, Movado, Sizzla, Jeezy, French Montana, Cat Williams, The Weeknd, Epic Song. I think Dope Bitch is a fucking skit, a two minute skit. This is a pretty solid album. Because I know I could at least listen to Black and White, No Supreme. I probably could listen to this whole album as well. Rick Ross got a pretty solid discography. He his is I think I think the top five best discographies as of now is T.I. Rick Ross. T.I. definitely has none of the the best discography in hip hop. Period. T.I. Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, because Snoop Dogg has way too many albums. But he only has, like, Snoop Dogg doesn't even have any bad albums like that. Uh, T.I., Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg. The Game and Jay-Z. 
The Game and Jay-Z. T.I., Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, The Game, Jay-Z. Let's go back into these features. Um, and ladies, I do love y'all, but again, I'm going to tell the truth. The Weeknd, Kanye West, Big Sean, Betty Wright, Meek Mill, Lil Wayne, Scarface, legendary rapper. I wish he would do more music, man. Zero. There was another song on her. I took it off. It's on Jay-Z's album. I, I got it. Fuck, fuck with me. I know you got it. Oh, he dropped two albums in 2014. You got Yo Gotti on here, Project Pat, Jay Z, K Michelle. Oh, K Michelle. Oh, this, 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 this. I'll talk about K Michelle later. Snoop Dogg, R Kelly, R Kelly's done for. They they put him under 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 the under the motherfucking ground. <laughs> Boozy, Big Crit, French Montana. He dropped another album, Black Market. There was a song I liked here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, who is he saying sorry to? Maybe it was a Chris Brown song and Rick Ross just video the song and he's just trying to apologize. Maybe he's trying to apologize to Karuchi or something. You know, I, I, I don't know what the point of this song for Rick Ross was. Oh, we got John Legend. We got his usual features. And he added in Mariah Carey and Jeremiah, Mary J. Blige, the future. I added the same hoes. Me and Pusha T fucking the same hoes. I'm very conflicted about that song. But I do like that Sorry song. It gives me memories. Where was I? I was at, um... I was working at Doolittle. I was working at Doolittle. Um, so rather you than me dropped. He um Drake. Oh, and and let me say this before too. This is probably gonna be a long ass video, but let me say this right, cause Wale. So Drake. So so. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me say it this way. So, Meek, Meek Mill, and, ah, oh, man, I'm going back. I'm going back into talking about women again. And I hate, I, I hate talking about this, this, this subject matter. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be part of it, you know. But, um, basically, this is what happened. Uh, because DJ Academic spilled the beans on this shit. So, um, Meek Mill was in a store, I think he was in Gucci or some shit, one of them high-end stores, and, um, Nikki was with him. Nikki's with, Nikki's with Meek, and Nikki's like, oh, buy me this, and Meek didn't have all the cash on him. He had the cash, but he didn't have all the cash on him, allegedly, and... Nikki said some foul ass shit. She was like, Drake wouldn't make me wait for Drake wouldn't I wouldn't have to wait if I was with Drake. See what I mean? And I hate the fact that I have to talk about women. But you know a lot of y'all bitches be on some foul shit. And um Me got upset. The, uh, there was a few there was some other shit going around, chatter going around. And they were driving in the car, and I think Nikki just kept saying some foul shit, and Meek went with the Twitter fingers and said, oh, how you how y'all gonna compare me to, to Drake? Because uh, Meek Mill had the Rico album, not the Rico album, the Rico song out with Drake. And I guess allegedly people were saying that uh, Drake bodied that song, whatever, whatever. And, um, what was, what was the album? 
Oh, it was 2000. This was 2015. I think Rick Ross dropped dropped Black Market, and then Meek Mill dropped uh, Dreams Worth More Than Money. And me personally, that's my favorite Meek Mill album. Championships is cool, but Dreams Worth More Than Money, it's it's perfect. It's a perfect blend of pop and 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 and, and uh, street pop, the pop, the urban, and a non-urban community. So, um, Nikki said that shit. Took no, still barely takes any account of, well, she, she, she's getting what she deserves. Nikki, the universe has a special way of working. Let's just say that. So, um, Meek went on the on a on a ground back in twenty fifteen. How you gonna say Drake better than me? He don't even write his own shit. Boom. Boom, right? So uh this came back to Drake's camp. Meek said this all because of Nikki. This come back to Drake camp. Drake was like, What the fuck? Oh, this motherfucker must be trying to come at me. Drop charged up. <laughs> Drop charged up. Dropped uh, back to back. Me dropped the song. Everybody ignored it. You see what I mean? So now Meek is Meek is falling apart. Meek is completely falling apart. You know why? Because of Nicki. See, this is why I'm careful with the women that I choose. Because sometimes women put you in very bad situations, and they don't take accountability for it. Because men men cater to them. There's there's certain women that just create bad situations. They just create bad situations. They put you in very bad situations. And um So Meek Meek got dissed by Drake. And then guess what's guess what's so bad that's so fucked up about the situation? Um Meek was doing all this shit. Then um, Meek got into a situation where he was in L.A. and uh, Sean Kingston was there. Sean Kingston's ass got robbed, and uh, Meek was there. And then Meek, Meek, Meek was basically caught snitching, or not caught snitching. Meek was uh, blamed for snitching on the game. He was blamed for snitching. He's basically, game thought that uh, Meek Mill said that somebody from the game camp robbed Sean Kingston. Sean, Sean Kingston. So, so <laughs> I can't, this is, this is too funny. All because of Nikki. This is all because of Nikki. Keep this in mind. And I'm not even done. So, uh, Sean Kingston sent some shots. This is going to be one of my archive videos later in the future. He sent some shots at the game. The game sent some shots at at uh, at uh, Meek. And keep in mind, Nikki did a song. Nikki did the Pills and Potions song or video and made the game her model. So she's the one that put game in her little camp, and it creates a bad situation because. Didn't care. Didn't care. But she creating all these bad situations for me. That's why you gotta be careful with the company that you keep. And and then um the game dropped an incredibly horrid disc on Meek Mill, claiming he was snitching. And then Meek Mill was in the, the little thing with Beanie Seagull and, and this and this and that and the game went to Philly and his camp was trying to exhaust the flames. Yeah, come to Philly, come to Philly, motherfucker. He came to Philly, or or he came to Philly. Uh, Meek allegedly went to. Uh, there was Meek and his camp were saying that they were going to go to Cali, and he was like, "Yeah, we're going to take a two-hour flight." And the the game put that in his beef. It takes five hours to get from Philly to L.A., so the game went to to Philly with no scratches whatsoever, right? They didn't do shit to him. He even went to his hometown and put a picture of him right on Meek's block. 
no scratching whatsoever. Then this beat, right? So all this shit is happening. Nikki is in the background, like, man, this nigga suck. It's like, no, bitch, it's your fault. You put this bad juju on that motherfucker. But again, women create shit and don't take accountability for it. Generally speaking, I don't want y'all to fucking dox me. So Nick, me, Nikki was like, you know what? I'm a dump him. I know she was trying to dump him about six months to a year in advance. But you, you know how selfish bitches are? She was like, I'm going to stay in a situation to make myself look better. Then I'm going to dump him. When, when all this blows over, I'm going to dump him so that way I look like the good person. That's how selfish women are nowadays, y'all. That's how selfish they are. You create a situation. You make him go through all this shit. He was the man. Then you, then you, then you dump him. But you don't dump him immediately because, no, nah, you'll look too bad. You don't want to look bad. So then you dump him a year later. You dump him a year later so that way you look good. Uh, bye, you know, it, it didn't work out, bye. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's fucked up and it's foul, but that's how these women, those women are gone. And it's, it's, nah, I'm not even gonna go to that route because it didn't, yeah, they gonna really try to fucking destroy me. So, um, all that happened. Meek ended up going to jail. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Meek was doing good till he got with Nikki. Meek was doing incredibly fine. He was doing perfectly fine. He got with Nikki. All this bad shit happened. He went to jail for popping a willy. <laughs> then he went to jail for popping a willy. Then she dumps him. Did he drop another album? How many albums does Meek Mill have? I can't even remember. He got he got Dreams and Nightmares, Dreams Worth More Than Money. Then he got Wins and Losses. He got four. He got four. So you, you, you put, you put your man in a very bad position and then just left him. Then you get with another nigga. Now you're trying to punk and bully everybody. And I'm hearing this nigga been in jail for years. So now you pick to choose a tough guy and you're potentially putting him in a situation where he has to harm niggas. He has to harm niggas. Because you want to be tough. And you want to be out there. And you want to be tough. Then we're telling you. Vicky. Stop doing all this. Uh, you Y'all just hating. I mean. Women got issues man. They issues like what are you doing you're a big artist Nikki like what are you doing so Rick Ross drops rather you than me two years later he had to mend the situation he got this song called summer 17 see he never really dissed Drake but he had to play for the home team because Meek Mill was his artist and um Let's look, let's go over your features for this man. We got Raphael Sadiq, Chris Rock, Young Thug, Wale, Future, Jeezy, Gotti, Gucci Man. See, Rick Rick Ross can work with Gucci Man. Cedar Moses, Ty Dolla Sign, Nas, Meek Mill. Oh, and then the, with the Wale situation, Wale was just saying the truth, and Meek Mill came at Wale too. You know. Wale was just saying the truth. Um, 
uh, Dage Loaf. And that's about it. And um, championships come out. Rick Ross had to mend the situation. The Meek Mill situation. Raw Life dropping projects. He decides to drop Port of Miami too. I got this song from the album stuck in my head right now. The White Lion song. So, uh, Meek Mill Drop Championship. He, he's back good with Drake. They explained the situation. It was Nicki Minaj's fault. She's not going to take accountability for that. Wale, we let's look let's go over your features for this one. Wale, Gunplay, Summer Walker. Mm. I like Summer Walker. I like the fact that she she goes in without wearing makeup. It's cool to wear makeup every now and then, you know what I mean? Um I like that she's strong. I like that she's bold. She does get anxiety. I just I like strong women. So when I talk about women and the shit that they do. Don't get it twisted. I like strong woman, women. I like women that have the balls to come up to me and tell me that they like me. I like women that don't fuck with, with lame niggas. You can fuck with niggas, just don't fuck with lame niggas. You know what I mean? Like I like, I like, I like boss bitches. I don't even know if I'm using that term right. I don't even know if that's a, 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 a right term or... I like bitches, bitches that are really their own bosses. I like bitches that that are that are edgy. I like bitches that are a little more edgy. I like bitches that um. Uh... Yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's it. So Summer Walker, that I, I like Summer Walker. Um, Dej Loaf, Meek Mill. Swiss Beat, Keanu Taylor, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. Was this done after he... Yes, 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 this was. Uh, Jeezy. Born to Kill is dope. Actually, this album isn't that bad. This album isn't that bad. YFN Lucci, La Boogie with the Hoodie, Denzel Curry. Uh-huh. <laughs> John Legend, Lil Wayne, and uh, Lil Wayne and Pusha T was supposed to be on this song. But Lil Wayne and Pusha T, Lil Wayne don't beef with anybody. For him, so, so for him to push, beef with Pusha T, he's like, it's like Tyler the Creator. If you see Tyler the Creator beef with somebody, you're like, hmm. There's something about that person that ain't right, because it's hard to get Lil Wayne to react to you. It's hard to get Tyler the Creator to react to you. But, um, Pusha T was supposed to be on the song, but he wasn't. And he got Drake. Since Drake and Meek Mill squashed their beef. Part of Miami, too. What is Rick Ross's worst album? I would have to say Port of Miami, too. I'd probably say Black Mar No, it's either Billionaire, Hood Billionaire. I don't think Rick Ross has a worse album. It would probably be Trilla, honestly. It would probably be Trilla. Because Rick Ross and T.I. are very solid rappers as far as their discography. Um, Man, I went on a long rant. Let me know what you guys think about Rick Ross. I'm going to end this because this video is probably hella long. Anyway.